So in this lesson, we are going to look at non-exact differential equations. Now, in the previous lesson, we looked at exact differential equations, and then we said that a differential equation given of the form m of xy dx plus n of xy dy equals 0 is said to be exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now, given a differential equation in this same form, if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to is not equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x then we say that the differential equation the differential equation is non-exact it's non-exact now if a differential equation given of this form is non-exact then what do we do we can transform the non-exact differential equation to an exact differential equation and then we move on to find the general solution of the differential equation and that is exactly what we are going to do in today's lesson now in this lesson we have our first example that is we are going to solve the differential equation x minus y square or the x plus 2xy dy equals 0 so let's try our hands on this very example so we are given the differential equation x minus y square dx plus 2xy dy equals 0. Now, as usual, we have m of xy to be equal to this function, x minus y square, and then we have n of xy equals that function 2xy. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to test for exactness. So, we are going to find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So, considering this function, we are going to consider any other variable and any other value to be constant except for y. So, here we have x. So, when you differentiate x with respect to y, you have 0 minus you differentiate y square with respect to y and then you have 2y. Therefore, we have my to be equal to negative 2y. Now, again for nx, that is the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So we are going to consider 2y a constant and then we differentiate x with respect to x and then we have 1. Therefore, nx equals 2y. So now, since my is not equal to nx, the differential equation, the differential equation is said to be non-exact. The differential equation is non-exact. Now, if the differential equation is non-exact, what do we do? We are going to look out for an integrating factor that is a function of either y, x, or a function of both x and y. So we are going to find an integrating factor such that we multiply the differential equation by that integrating factor and the non-exact differential equation becomes an exact differential equation. So basically we are going to look out for the integrating factor. So usually we consider two cases. So case one, if my, which is the partial derivative of m with respect to y, minus nx partial derivative of n with respect to x divided by n is a function, is a function of x alone, if this is a function of x alone, then what we are going to do is we are going to have the integrating factor that is a function of x so mu of x equals e to the power the integral of the expression we have here 
which is represented by she of x dx so if this expression is a function of x alone then we have mu of x equals e to the power the integral of she of x dx and then that is an integrating factor of the differential equation and then again we can have case 2 case 2 let's assume that if we do this and then you realize that the function is not of x alone then we need to test for case 2 so that is if my minus nx divided by negative m is a function is a function of y alone if this is a function of y alone then we have mu of y which is the integrating factor be equal to e to the power the integral of xi of x sorry xi of y dy okay e to the power the integral of xi of y dy so usually you first test for case one if it doesn't work if it is not of x alone then you move on to test for case two and then you realize that most often than not it is a function of y alone now let's try that let's try to find the integrating factor so for case one let's say for case one so let's say we have my my minus nx over n now n here is the function okay the function n of xy so this is equal to we have my to be negative 2y minus nx which is 2y or divided by the function n of xy which is 2xy now this is equal to negative 4y divided by 2xy so y cancels out y 2 goes here once 2 goes here 2 times so we are left with negative negative 2 over x we are left with negative 2 over x now since this is a function of x alone then we say that the integrating factor mu of x is equal to e to the power the integral of negative 2 over x dx okay now let's try to resolve this so we have mu of x to be equal to e to the power now we have negative 2 here so we can pull out negative 2 then we have the integral of 1 over x dx now let's try to integrate 1 over x with respect to x so we have e to the power negative 2 integral of 1 over x dx becomes ln of x and then we can represent this as e to the power ln of x exponent negative 2 and then finally we can represent this as ln of 1 over x square 1 over x square now from properties from properties e to the power ln of x is equal to x so in that case e to the power ln of 1 over x square will be equal to 1 over x square so we are going to have this to be equal to 1 over x square therefore the integrating factor mu of x is equal to 1 over x square that is the integrating factor now the next thing we are going to do is to multiply the differential equation by this integrating factor so we have mu of x the integrating factor be equal to 1 over x square and then we have the original differential equation to be x minus y square dx plus 2xy dy equals 0 now we are going to multiply through by 1 over x square so we have 1 over 1 over x square multiplying x minus y square 
dx plus 2xy dy equals 1 over x squared times 0. So let's simplify further. So we multiply 1 over x squared across. So for the first term, we are going to have x cancels out one of the x's here. So we are going to have 1 over x minus. Here we are going to have y squared over x squared or dx plus we multiply this across again for this term and then we are going to have x cancelling out one of the x's and so we have 2y over x or dy equals any number times 0 is 0. So let's move on. Now at this point since we've been able to multiply the integrating factor across it means that this differential equation is now exact this differential equation is now exact so we are going to have our new m of xy to be equal to this function which is 1 over x minus y square over x square now we can rewrite this as x to the power negative 1 minus y square x to the power negative 2 and then we have n of xy to be equal to we have 2y x to the power negative 1 now let's test for exactness okay so let's see if m of y is equal to n of x so we have m of y equals the partial derivative of m with respect to y so we are going to work on this since we are differentiating with respect to y this is a constant it goes to zero minus we perform differentiation on y so here we have y square so that becomes 2y and then we have x exponent negative 2 so this becomes negative 2y over x square that is my and then for nx partial derivative of n with respect to x we are going to work on this function so 2y becomes a constant we are going to treat 2y as a constant so we have it here and then we are going to differentiate x to the power negative 1 so we drop down negative 1 times x and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 so we simplify this as we have negative 2y divided by x to the power 2 now since my is equal to nx we say that the differential equation the differential equation is exact the differential equation is exact now if the differential equation is exact then it means we need to move on to find the general solution of the differential equation. So let's do that together. Now, first of all, we are going to integrate the function m with respect to x and then the function n with respect to y and then we merge the two functions. So we are going to have the integral of m of x, y dx that is equal to now the function m so we are dealing with the new function m of xy and that is x to the power negative 1 x to the power negative 1 so we can have that as 1 over x minus and then here we have y square x to the power negative 2 or the x now when you integrate 1 over x with respect to x then you have ln of x minus when you integrate x to the power negative 2 so first of all you have y square and then you integrate this so we have x to the power we are going to increase the exponent by 1 so negative 2 
plus one is negative one so negative one and and then you divide through by you divide by the total exponent which is negative one so you are going to have ln of x this cancels out this so you have addition plus and then you have y square times x of x to the power negative one so you can basically rewrite this as instead of x to the power negative one you have divided by x so that is the integral of m of x y dx now let's move on to the integral of n of x y dy so integral of n of x y dy dy and that is equal to focusing on this function we have the integral of 2y x to the power negative 1 or dy so we perform integration on y so we have 2x to the power negative 1 times we increase the exponent by 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by the total exponent 2 now 2 cancels out 2 and then we are left with y square over x therefore we have the integral of n of x y dy to be equal to y square over x now notice that in each case in each case when we differentiate the function m and then the function n we ignore the arbitrary constant of integration now we are going to merge the two functions to form the solution to the differential equation so we have f of x y and that is equal to so first of all we are going to start with this function so that is ln of x and then notice that we are going to write we are going to write each term once so we have ln of x plus y square over x and then when we come to this function also we have y square over x repeating so we ignore the additional one and then this should be equal to c now since we are supposed to leave our answer in the form f of x y equals c we have the function ln of x plus y square over x to be equal to c and this is the general solution to the differential equation so basically this is how to find the general solution to a non-exact differential equation first of all you need to transform the non-exact differential equation to an exact differential equation by multiplying the non-exact differential equation by an integrating factor and then you move on to find the general solution so now let's move on to the next example